Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich, your host with the most from Rich TV, live in Mexico, live in Mexico. And we've got big breaking news here, giving you an update on all the markets. Recession concerns mount, global stocks tumble, then rebound. The Dow Jones did finish in the red, NASDAQ finished in the green, and the S&P 500 also finished in the green to start off the beginning of quarter three. Tesla initially falls after Q2 delivery results, but regains and finishes green. So a couple stocks for you to keep your eye on. First and foremost, Occidental Petroleum, OXY, one of the plays that Warren Buffett is very interested in and invested in, given a buy rating with oil prices down, might present a good trade opportunity. Always do your own due diligence and let us know what you think here at Rich TV. Now, a sell target given on Carnival Cruise Line, CCL, with travel and leisure sector still struggling and continues to underperform, it might cause more of a downturn for the sector. Do your due diligence, and we'd love to share your thoughts with us. Now, let's take a look at some financial calendar news in Canada. OPEC meetings, building permits month over month. It's an excellent gauge of future construction activity because obtaining a permit is among the first steps in constructing a new building. All right, in America, factory orders month over month is a leading indicator of production. Rising purchase orders signals that manufacturers will increase activity. They work to fill the orders. Now let's talk about cryptocurrency news. Yesterday, the total market cap broke through the 862 billion upper range high and has gone up to the 900 billion resistance where the market cap has been rejected. Currently, the market cap has dropped down to 870 billion. There is no clear direction at the moment as to which the market cap will play out in the short term to the downside, there is major support at 834 billion with resistance above 900 billion. Make sure to sign up to richtv.io for our emails and alerts and get a deep dive analysis and breakdown of the charts 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually trading right now, just over $20,000. If it can hold that 19,122 mark, then we can see it being bullish and going back potentially to 21,435 area, which usually starts to see resistance and selling pressure around that level. So let's take a look at the trade in between range. If it breaks below 19,122, then we believe it's going to be bearish. Now let's take a look at the price of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin breaks down below that 19,122 mark, then it, it's going to be bearish most likely. And we could see it drop all the way down to that 17,900 level again. So you could take a short position. If you see it becoming bearish, always do your own due diligence and make sure you are taking the best possible trade. Now let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to share a screen right now and take a look at the Bitcoin chart. Here we go. So this is the Bitcoin daily chart. You can see it has been as low as $1,981 and has been as high as $20,475. And we're currently trending up right now. It's climbing up, looking very bullish. The second currently at $20,400. So looking pretty bullish right now, be very interesting to see if we're going to be able to hold this range. Now, let's also take a look at Ethereum. I will look at the charts on Ethereum. First of all, Ethereum has been trading between the 1,030 zone and the $1,200 zone. If it can stay above the 1,030 zone, it might go bullish again and give an opportunity for at least a 10% gain up close to the 1,200 zone. If it breaks the 10,030 zone on the way down, it could present a bearish opportunity or a short trade opportunity down to the 890 zone where typically it starts to get support and buying pressure. Remember to go and sign up to richtv.io to learn how to trade cryptocurrency stocks, NFTs, and so much more. Now let's take a look at the Ethereum chart. So this is the Ethereum chart right here. 
ETH USD. This is the Ethereum chart here. So you can clearly see the Ethereum chart now at 1,155. So a little bit kind of in that middle between the bearish zone and the bullish zone. So remember what we said, if it goes above that 1200 zone, then it's looking to be pretty bullish. However, it gets resistance in that level. So be careful for selling pressure. And it's just sitting right now at 1154. So it's kind of in the middle of the zone that we're talking about, closer to the bullish zone than the bearish zone. But it's going to be interesting to see if we can break that 1200 mark. Now, always remember Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we believe that we dig deeper than anybody else. We interview companies, we do company overviews, we break down the news, we do the analysis, and we actually physically invest in the companies that we talk about. We invest in stocks, we invest in cryptocurrencies, we invest in NFTs, we invest in real estate, we invest in the metaverse, and so much more. Thank you guys for watching. Your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV live in Mexico saying, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you soon.